welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making a cute Valentine's Day gift in the form of some little anklet socks. So we're going to sublimate on those and I'm going to show you how to do it. So without further ado, come on, let's get started. We are going to be using some metal shims um, to sublimate our anklets on. I ordered this, it came, <clears throat> excuse me, as a pack of four on off of Amazon. And I think I just typed in something um, like um, plates or something like that to sublimate socks on. So they came, in, it came in a pack of four. This is the long ones for the socks and there's two that are in here. But today we're gonna be doing the little anklets. So we're gonna be using these two um, metal shims. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take a um, tape measure and we're going to measure the length of the shim and it's 10 inches by I'd say four inches 10 by four okay so then what we're going to do next is we're going to go on to Canva and we're going to design our little template and then we're going to drop the design in there and print it out so we can go ahead and sublimate so stay tuned okay let's go ahead and design our um little anklet. I'm going to start with um, putting a shape in here. I'm going to do a rectangle and we're just going to put one in there, rotate it around and then we want our rectangle, I believe we said the um, dimensions of the Metal shim was, I believe we said, 10, and then the width of it is 4, 10 by 4. So I'm going to do it a little bigger than 10, so we always have some hangover, so there's no edge left naked. So we're going to go ahead and size this up. And so the width is 4. And I really want my height at 10. Put this over here. This page is an eight and a half by 11, so. I'm trying to get it to 10. There we go. And it says five, but I really don't want five, but we'll just go ahead and go with it. I'm going to go ahead and upload over here an image, upload files. This is on my desktop over here to desktop and I wanted these colorful hearts so we're gonna go ahead and insert that and of course my little shape is over here so I want to take this rotate it And then I'm going to place it inside. It's funny because when you click on one, it clicks on the other. But I gotta get this the size that I need it. So let me see if I can just do this one. I probably didn't need to put that rectangle in there. But we're gonna do this one. Um, a little bit bigger than 10. And it's much wider than what I needed, but hey, it'll be okay. Um, let me go ahead and get rid of this square and just put that on here. Okay, so now this actually does let me get it down to, what did I say it was? Four. We'll do a little bit over four. Do four, two. Okay. 
So there we have it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and print this out and then we're going to go ahead and I'll show you how we put the sock on the um, metal shim and go ahead and sublimate it. But um, it's as easy as that, folks. We just go ahead and print, put your design on here and we're gonna do this on both sides of the socks. So I will need two to print out two of these and we'll go ahead and get that done and I'll meet you back over at the heat press. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this assembled so that we can go ahead and put it on the um, heat plate or heat press and get it sublimated. Uh, we have the two metal shims here. I have some uh, no-show anklets. These are polyester uh, no-show anklets. I purchased them in a big, huge pack in bulk off of Amazon. We've printed out our design here, and what we're gonna do is just go ahead, since there's two sides, we're just gonna go ahead and cut this straight down the middle here. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and take our sock, and I'm gonna have the hole facing me so that I can put the sock on. It's gonna be up toward the top. And so that what you'll do is you'll just stretch the sock, try to get it as straight as possible here with the line across the bottom. We'll take the end of that and we'll place it around here as such. And then you have your front and your back to your sock, okay? And before I place these images on here, I am gonna go ahead and um, take a lint roller just to make sure that there's there's um, nothing that's sitting on top of here that when I remove the sublimation papers uh, will catch on there. And then once that lint or whatever is removed, you will have a blank space there where it did not sublimate. So we always wanna use a lint roller when we sublimate. And then we're going to just take our images and we're gonna place that on top of the sock as such. Now remembering here that this is not gonna sublimate around here, so um, that's fine but we'll put it on one side and then what I'll do is tape them together. I'm gonna to put this on the other side. And then we're just gonna take some sublimation heat transfer tape, or should I say just heat transfer tape. And tape these two together. You wanna make sure that they are flat because you don't want any air getting up in there. Air is a your worst nightmare when it comes to sublimation. It causes your images to blur if you have air up in there. Okay, so this is how we go ahead and prep the sock. Place our image on here and our heat transfer tape. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one done and then I'll meet you over at the heat press. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're back at the heat press machine. I have my heat press heating up to about uh, 300 and maybe 90 degrees. And we're gonna press these for about 30 seconds. Um, because I do have overhang here, meaning that um, there's paper that overhangs and it does, it's not an exact fit to there, that means that some of that sublimation ink could get on my heat press machine and you know the top or the bottom and you don't really want that because then when you go to make something else guess what you've got ink on there okay 
Trust me, I've learned the hard way. So we have to do both sides. So we're gonna go ahead and place them in here together. For one side, and then I'm going to go ahead and take a piece of copy paper just so that the ink doesn't transfer to my Teflon sheet, my top Teflon sheet, because I've had that happen before and then sublimated or ironed on something else and uh, the image was on that as well. So we'll go ahead and put that down there and then we're just gonna press it, give it a little oomph, and then we're gonna wait for the 30 seconds and then we'll go ahead and flip them. Okay, so we're back. 30 seconds, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that Teflon sheet, that piece of copy paper. And it looks like I can see the images through here, so that's pretty good sign. Um, guys, this is hot, and normally I would use a, a glove, but I can't find my right-handed glove, and I'm right-handed, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the end touch the ends, flip that paper, and then go ahead and put that Teflon sheet on again. So again, we'll press for another 30 seconds and then we will reveal. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're back from the heat press. I have flipped them, sublimated both sides, put them on this little Teflon pad here and I tried to wait a few minutes to kind of let them cool down, but if you're like me and you just are impatient and you want to hurry up and see what it looks like, you'll go ahead. So I'm going to try to cut some of this tape without cutting any of the sock here. I know the ones on the ends are not really attached to anything, so we'll go ahead and take that a loose. And then I'll try to... Um, Remove this tape so that we can kind of see what it looks like. Oh, wow, that's nice. It's always a surprise when you sublimate. So that is the front of the sock. And then we're gonna go ahead and flip it. And then this is gonna be the back of the sock. Very nice, very nice. That metal plate in there is uh, still kind of hot, so I'm going to wait a few minutes before I try to take the sock off of the metal plate and um, then I'll go ahead and reveal the image. Like I said, I try not to cut that sock there, but I'm impatient and I want to see what it looks like. There we go front of one sock, back of the other sock. Hey, hey guys. Okay, so I'm, there's the front, there's the back of one sock and the front of the other sock. So I'm gonna let these, this metal plate cool down a little bit more and then I'll be back with the final reveal and I might even try them on for you guys. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so here is the final reveal of our little no-show anklets, a cute little Valentine's Day gift. I hope you like what you've seen today. If you do, do me a favor and hit that like button down below. If you'd like to subscribe, I'd love to have you as a follower. And if you hit the little bell, it'll let you know when I upload new content. New content is uploaded on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And until we meet again, be blessed. Have a nice day.